What's up you guys, it's Deep over here and today I'm going to show you how to give this chrome metal effect to your logos or any shape image in Photoshop. Also if you want to learn how to do such cool things using Photoshop then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first step over here we need to do is create a new document. So for that go to file and then select option new. After that set the width as 1 to 8 0 pixels, height as 1 to 8 0 pixels and resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on OK. Now once the new document has been created we need to create a new background so for that go to file and then click on option place. Now after that select any background of your choice, download link for the background image I am choosing is in the description below, after that click on option place. Now once the background image is over here, we need to scale it and place it properly. Now in order to scale this background image, all you need to do is press shift and drag from one of the corners as follows. By pressing shift, you maintain the ratio between height and the width. And then again press shift and then drag from the other corner as follows. Now once the background image fits the whole document, after that click on the stick icon to place it. So now we have the background image ready, now after that we need to bring in the shape or logo image where we need to give a chrome effect so for that again go to file and then select option place. After that select any shape or logo image, download link for this logo image is in the description below, after that click on place. After that click on the stick icon to place it. So now we have our shape but as you can see there are some white spots in the middle also there is some yellow color near the edges over here as well. Now in order to solve these things we need to get the selection of the horse without this white spots in between. So now in order to get that selection select magic wand tool. You can select using quick selection tool as well but for this image magic wand tool will do the work. So now after that using magic wand tool click on the black part of the horse. So now as you can see it gives us the selection of the whole horse except for the white part in between over here which is exactly what we want. So now after that right click inside of the selection and then select option make work path. After that set the tolerance as 2 pixels and then click on ok. So now we have converted our selection into a path which will be much smoother than the original selection. Now we need to fill this path with that of the black color. So now for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option solid color. After that set the color as black and then click on ok. Now after that we can delete the original image so for that make the original image layer active by clicking on it. And then press the delete key of your keyboard in order to delete it. So now as you can see we have removed the yellow color from the edges also we have removed the white color from the between as well. Now after that make the shape layer active by clicking on it. So now we need to hide this target path now in order to do that go to view and then show and then untick this target path option which will hide the path. So now we have our shape ready now let's start with a chrome metal effect so for that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select the color overlay option. After that set the blend mode as normal and then click on this color option. After that set the color as B3 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 and then click on ok. After that set the opacity as 100% and then click on this bevel and emboss option. After that set the style as inner bevel, technique as smooth, depth as 700%, direction as up, size as 15 pixels, soften as 5 pixel, angle as 120 degree, untick this use global light option. Set the altitude as 30 degree, gloss contour as linear, after that set the blend mode of the highlight mode as screen, its color as white and its opacity to 75%. After that set the blend mode of the shadow mode to multiply, its color as black and its opacity as 75%. Now let me just show you the before and after by clicking on this bevel and emboss checkbox. So this was the before and then this is the after. After that click on OK. After that we need to convert this shape image into a smart object so for that right click over there and then select option convert to smart object. Now after that again click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. 
After that select the bevel and emboss and then set the style as outer bevel. Set the technique as smooth, depth as 100%, direction as up, size as 8 pixels, soften as 0 pixel, angle as 120 degree, untick this use global light option, altitude as 30 degree and then set the gloss contour as ring double. After that set the blend mode of the highlight mode to screen, its color to white and its opacity to 75%. After that set the blend mode of the shadow mode to multiply, its color to black and its opacity to 75%. Now let me just show you the effect of this bevel and emboss by clicking on this checkbox. So this was the before and then this is the after. After that select the inner glow option. And then set the blend mode of the inner glow to screen, its opacity to 75% and then set the color as white. Set the technique as softer, source as edge and then set the choke to 10%, size to 5 pixels, contour as linear, range as 50% and then jitter as 0%. So now let me just show you the before and after of this inner glow option. So now this was the before and then this is the after. After that select the gradient overlay option, set the blend mode of the gradient overlay to color burn, set its opacity to 60%. After that click on this gradient icon which will give you a pop up to select gradient. After that over here select the gradient as black and white and then click on this white color stop and then set its location to 50%. So now after that we need to add one more color stop at the right bottom so for that go over there and your mouse cursor will be changed into a hand tool. Now after that click over there in order to add one more color stop and make sure its location is 100%. After that click on the color option and then set its color to black. So now as you can see we have a gradient as black, white and black. After that click on ok and then set the style as linear angle as 90 degree and then scale as 100 percent let me just show you the before and after of this gradient overlay so this was the before and then this is the after after that we need to add some shadows over here as well so for that click on drop shadow option and then set the blend mode as multiply color as black set its opacity to 50 percent set the angle as 120 degree and then untick this use global light option Set the distance as 15 pixels, spread as 0% and then set the size to 15 pixels. So now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and then this is the after. It gives such a nice realistic look over here right? After that click on OK. So now as you can see our main part is ready now in order to convert this thing into a glossy chrome effect all you need to do is add one curves adjustment layer so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option curves. So now after that we need to play with the curves but as you can see as I drag this curves it affects the whole image and we don't want that thing we only want the, this curves adjustment layer to have an effect on the shape image layer which is below it. Now in order to do that thing click on create clipping mask icon and then let me just reset the curves adjustment layer. So now in order to give that glossy chrome effect all you need to do is click on this point and then drag it upwards as follows. After that again click on this point and then drag it downwards as follows. After that again click on this point and then drag it upwards as follows. So now as you can see by adding this curves adjustment layer it is giving such a nice glossy effect. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect. So for that clicking on this eye icon. So this was the before and then this is the after. Now if you want this thing to be a little more glossy then all you can do is press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate of this curves adjustment layer. After that right click over there and then select the option create clipping mask. So now as you can see by adding this curves adjustment layer it is looking a bit unrealistic. Now let's reduce the opacity of this layer to around 30% to make it look more realistic. So now as you can see this is looking so proper and nice now let me just minimize it. 
Now after that we need to add some shine over here as well in order to make it look more realistic so for that we require a stamp visible layer so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus shift plus alt or options on mac and then e. So now as you can see it creates a stamp visible layer now let's convert this layer into a smart object so for that right click over there and then select option convert to smart object. After that in order to add some shine go to filter and then render and then select option lens flare. After that set the brightness as 30%. Set the lens type as 105mm prime and then using move tool drag this cursor where you want to add that shine over here. After that click on ok. So now as you can see the shine has been added and it looks so realistic. So now that's it guys hope you guys like this video on how to give this chrome metal effect to your logo or shape image in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.